on May 16, 1870, Hermann Lehmann, a German immigrant son barely 10 years old, was captured with his younger brother Willie by a band of Apaches, forever changing his life and that of his family. Five days later, a patrol of Buffalo soldiers led by Captain Roberts pursued the Apache group and after a fierce battle, succeeded in rescuing his brother Willie while Herman remained in the hands of the attackers. To dissuade him from trying to escape, the Apaches made Herman believe they had killed his entire family. And so the young boy gradually embraced the Apache culture and way of life. He was soon adopted by a tribal warrior named Carnaviste and given the name Onda, meaning white boy. In the spring of 1876, Herman's life was once again turned upside down when Carnivist was killed by a medicine man from a rival tribe. The young man avenged the death of the man he now considered his father. By killing his assassin and fearing for his life, decided to flee. After a year of wandering, he finally joined a rebel Comanche tribe and was given the name Montekema, meaning unknown. Shortly afterwards, he was once again adopted by Chief Kwana Parker. The Comanche chief was himself the son of a white woman named Cynthia Ann Parker, who had also been kidnapped by a Comanche tribe at the age of nine. Kwana Parker, who realized that the war against the whites was lost, finally agrees to make peace and travels with his group to Fort Sill before joining the Kiowa Comanche Reservation. Herman Lehman was soon noticed by the settlers for his white skin and blue eyes, and Colonel Mackenzie, in contact with Herman's mother, decided to send him under escort to his original family in Texas. This forced return to Anglo-Saxon civilization was not without its difficulties. He arrived in May 1878, nine years after his capture. His sister recognized him by the scar on his arm he'd made playing together. At first speaking only Apache and Comanche, Herman was reluctant to embrace his new way of life. He refused to sleep in a bed and often managed to embarrass his family by appearing half-naked and body-painted in front of guests at his mother's boarding house. His brother Willie had to intervene on several occasions to prevent him from killing neighbors' calves and pigs or taking horses from neighboring farms. Gradually learning German and English and taking on occasional jobs, he was never able to reintegrate fully with the whites. Always cheerful, his extreme skill at archery, lassoing and horseback riding made him a local celebrity. Herman eventually adapted to Western life but never abandoned his native customs and values. In 1899, he wrote his own biography entitled Nine Years Among the Indians, and his book was considered one of the finest accounts of Native American culture at the time. In 1900, he left Texas for the Indian Territory in Oklahoma to be closer to his adopted people, whom he called his Red Brothers. Later regarded by the authorities as a true adopted Comanche, in 1901, he received a parcel of land from the U.S. government which he promptly donated to a school. With his wife Fanny Light and five children, he finally returned to Loyal Valley, Texas, where he died on February 2, 1932, at the age of 72, becoming a legend of the American Wild West.